they're just so caring and they are just committed to each individual child's success. Because it's the right place for autistic kids. Whatever is the autism level, they're gonna be helped a lot here. Specialized schools such as the May Center are needed in order for children like my son to receive an education. As executive director of the May Center School Wilmington, our goal is to increase our students' independence to the greatest degree possible so that the kids can have as full a life as possible outside of our school as well as within it. All of the staff who are directly working with the, the students are highly trained. They're well-versed in the principles of applied behavior analysis. They're trained on autism and kind of the markers for autism. I think the May Center School Wilmington is so effective in teaching the individuals that we serve because we offer a lot that the students wouldn't be getting in their in-district placements. So that includes smaller class sizes with better staff ratios. We also have behavior analysts on staff to help with problem behavior reduction. And then of course we have consulting speech therapists and OT therapists, so we kind of are doing it all. And they're working with the staff to help the students meet those goals that are in their IEPs. We are able to really individualize everything for each student. One thing I love about working here is uh, you work very closely with the family. You are in daily communication with them. I know everything that happened during her school day, from eating to toileting, when she was upset, why she was upset, like details of details. And they have been so incredibly receptive to anything we need help with. The teachers have come to doctor's appointments with us. You don't get that in public school. You don't get that in a large setting. I think it's important to have a school like the May Center Wilmington because it sets the kids like this up for, for success and it has them really reach their full potential. Our students have a wide array of ability levels and we work within that. So some of our students might be working on basic communication skills, things like hand washing, toileting, or other activities of daily living. And then we have some of our older students who are going out into the community and doing the shopping for the school store and stocking the shelves to providing volunteer opportunities at Meals on Wheels. In general, we really hold our kids to high expectations. We know that they are capable of amazing things and that we have the responsibility to bring that out. The fact that the staff seems to be so knowledgeable and so well trained, I've not come across anyone that I haven't been in awe of because they're just so good at what they do. The May Center School, I would say, has changed our lives. To go from probably being isolated to being able to function in public, it might seem small to somebody on the outside, but on the inside, where, where we exist, it's very big. I'm just happy to have you back here. We're happy, we're smiling, our smile is back. When a student makes that progress and when you see a skill being mastered or them doing something fully independent for the first time, you want to scream and shout and you just are so proud and it's, it's an amazing moment to be a part of.